Shalom to the elect of Israel. Let's begin this lesson by giving honor and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yahweh is the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and his only begotten son, who is our king, who is our savior, the redeemer, who is the root and offspring of King David, the bright and morning star, the king of kings, the lord of lords, the beginning and the ending, the alpha and the omega, our deliverer, our king, whom we are, we are patiently waiting for. His name is Yahweh Shai, means he saves, he delivers, he is our salvation. Let's give double honors to our head apostles from the great millstone that taught us this truth. Salutation, peace to all the brothers out there doing this work in sincerity and in truth. And to the large multitude whom the Lord is going to have mercy on, yes, and the all Israelites. This is a family affair. Salvation is only for the Israelite. If anybody teaching contrary to what we are teaching family, he's an anti hamashiach He's anti-Yahawashai because Yahawashai's gospel is only for Israel, the 12th tribe. That you so-called Negroes, Latinos, African Americans, Native Americans. This good, this good news here, it is for you. And eh? you better repent. The time is short, beloved. The time is short. The time is short. And Yahweh willing, we're going to get right into it. You see, so much is happening. There's no going back. There's no going back. Nothing is going to be normal. There's no going back to 2016, 2012. No, 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 family. This is the end of this kingdom. And that's why we are here to preach. Yahawasha is all about our ending. Yahawasha wants to take over the kingdom. And this is the time that we've all been waiting for. The end. It says better is the end of a thing than the beginning of it thereof. Right? Ecclesiastes 7, 8, I believe. And so we have few articles to cover here. This is from the associate, uh, the, sorry, this is from the Associated Press. Okay? And family, as you, you're going to watch a video. It's about only 40 seconds. Over a million people protesting in, uh, what is it called, in Yemen. Eh? And they are ready for the West. They are declaring death to America, death to Israel. You see, this is not any ordinary times we are living in. Like Yahweh Shai says, before we bring this thing here, we know that the beginning of the year, our beloved Apostle Toha declared 2024 to be what? The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. You see, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, but we know that according to Jeremiah 30 verse 7, Jacob is going to be saved out of it. But let's hear what Yahweh Shai said. Yahweh Shai himself also said it. Let's go to the book of Matthew 24 verse 21. It says, For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time no not ever shall be family let's get another let's get let's let's, let's get let's get uh, another uh, version i always go to the nlt it says for there will be greater anguish than at any time since the world began and it will never be so great again family that's what the lord is telling this is coming from your shy this is Yahweh Shai saying the time that we are about to enter into family has never ever happened before. Eh? But he says here, and except those days should be shortened. Yahweh Shai is speaking. Actually, let me highlight it. So let, let's get a let me highlight so you know that the red letter is Yahweh Shai speaking, our king speaking. He says here, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, you hear that? The elect. The Lord is not coming to save everybody. He's only coming for a remnant. A small number. That's what a remnant means. He says here, for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. You hear that? For the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. And now, let's hear what, uh, what is it called? Uh, what was it? Let's hear, the Lord said it. Let's hear what Joel said. Joel chapter 2. Verse 2. It says, it says here. Let's pick it up from verse 1. It says, Blow ye the trumpet in Zion and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble. For the day of the Lord cometh. For it is nigh at hand. Are you hearing this, beloved? 
It says, a day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of thick darkness. As the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. It says here, there have not been ever the like. How should I say the same thing, right? Neither shall be any more after, even to the years of many generations. Beloved, let's get NLT. It says here, it is a day of darkness and gloom, a day of thick clouds and deep blackness. What is going to cause those thick clouds, eh? earthquakes, eh? to a point where you're not going to see the sun, you're not going to see the moon, the stars. Because once those missiles start hitting, and then the, uh, with the nuclear missile family, is going to cause family mushroom clouds. Family, we're going to have winter, what? They call it what? Nu nuclear winter. Hmm? The sun is going to be covered. The smoke is going to rise up. The sun, is, that's the day of the Lord, family. That is the day of the Lord. And the men of the Lord, that's what we're going to be preaching. Hey? Eh? Because it's all about the prophecy. You're not going to get this in your churches. Eh? Those hallowed houses. Uh-uh. You're not going to get it. You're not going to get this glorious gospel. And the day of the Lord is just pure darkness. Let's go on. It says here, a great and mighty army appears. Nothing like it has been seen before. You hear that? This is the point. Nothing like it has been seen before or will ever be seen again. Because Yahweh Shai kingdom, after he take down all this military, all these armies, that's right, there will be no more war. Who's going to fight the king, family? Who? After the destruction that he's bringing, family, everybody is going to be in order. Now, let's go to Jeremiah 30 verse 7. It says, Alas, for that day is great. Eh? Family, so it shows you that everybody is speaking the same thing. Eh? We went to Joel. We went to Matthew. We went to Jeremiah now. Hey, family, because why? Family, the Lord is not the author of confusion. He cannot tell Joel to go and prophesy. And Joel will come and tell you that, oh, the day of the Lord, we are going to be holding hands and singing Kumbaya. Everybody eating ice cream, drinking their favorite, having their favorite drink. No, everybody is preaching disaster, gloom, darkness, Family evil upon evil upon evil. That's what everybody is preaching. It came out of the king's mouth first. Yahweh Shai first. Eh? In Matthew 24, 21. He said it. Eh? Joel said it. Jeremiah is saying the same thing. He says here, yeah, Alas, for that day is great. So that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Family, let's get another version. He says here, yeah, In all history, there has never been such a time of terror. It will be a time of trouble for my people, Israel. Yet in the end, they will be saved out of it. Jeremiah said it. Let's hear if my, Daniel also said the same thing. Daniel 12, 1. Family, we're going to go straight to the NLT. Hmm? Actually, let's read the King James Version. It says, and at that time, what time? Tribulation, the one Yahweh Shai spoke about. The one Joel spoke about. The one, uh, what is it called? Jeremiah spoke about. Hey? It says, and at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never hey, was since there was a nation, even to the same time. Family, you see that? The Lord is not the author of confusion. Every prophet, including our king, is saying the same thing. This is the time that we are about to enter into. So if anybody telling you that, oh, there will be peace after the world. No, 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 family. This is the end of the world as we know it. It says here, it says, where was, where was I? Such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Even one, it says here, everyone that shall be found written in the book. That's the elect. Family, you see, that's the time that we are about to enter into. I'm going to play this 47 uh, seconds, uh, what is it called, a clip from the Associated Press. Fair use, fair use, fair use. I don't own this video. I don't want to strike on my channel. Fair use, fair use, fair use. All right, let's go. Family, look at the crowd. That means what? Death to America, death to Israel. 
They are ready, family. That's what the law says. Hey, we're gonna bring we're gonna bring the precept. Because the law spoke about this the time that we are in. Hey, the uproar of people. Where is second Ezra? There you go. Second, what is second Ezra 15? Mm -hmm. So family, that's the time that we are living in. And now, let's get right here. Let's go to 2nd Ezra. And we're going to pick it up from verse 14. This is the time that we are living in, family. We have to continue to bring it up. And give honor and glory to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. For family, when Ezra received, uh, sorry, when Ezra received this, uh, uh, this uh, what is it called? Uh, when the angel Uriel came to reveal to Ezra what is going this he Ezra received this message we're talking about 2000 plus years ago and we are living in it right now that's what we are family we are blessed hey eh? it's going to happen in our lifetime Yahweh Shai family yes Yahweh Rattus Yahweh Shai is coming in our lifetime hey eh? it says here woe to the world and them that dwell therein it says, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people shall stand up and fight against another, and swords in their hands. Family, isn't that what's happening right now? The so called uh, the Yemeni army, they call them Houthis. Family, they are ready for the worst. And America have no res reserve, uh, sorry, reverse gear. The whole West have no reverse gear. Family, they have no other choice but to fight. If they don't fight, that means what? There goes the American dollar. The West is broke. America is 34,000. So I said 34,000. 34 trillion in debt. Eh? So are his, uh, what, what is it called? Uh, his allies. Europe is broke. Russia, the global South is doing very well. They are about to walk away. They already started trading in their own currency. They are dumping the U.S. dollar. Family, the only thing left is war. This is it. And then eventually the microchip is going to come. But the microchip is also coming. Because when they collapse the system and then they tell you that the only way for you to eat is by taking their microchip. It's all coming together, family. The war is coming. And it says here, for the sword and their destruction draweth nine. And one people shall stand up and fight against another and with and what? And swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men, family. That's coming to America and all over the world. They're not going to be listening to what their 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 their, their what their uh, 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 their prime ministers, their 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 president, eh? their uh, their mayors, eh? their leaders. They, no, 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 family. They're going to take matters into their own hand. There's a time that we're about to enter into. Listen to this. It said, For there shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard their kings, no princes. These are their leaders. Hmm? And the course of their actions shall stand in their power. You hear that? No, family, this is the spirit that the Lord is about to pour upon this earth. He says, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Because, family, they're going to be blocky. That's right. Eh? They're going to be what? Uh, what is it called? Martial laws. Eh? Borders will be closed. Eh? In order to family to, uh, what is it called? Travel, you're going to need some type of document or you have to take some something, something. You know, you know what I mean. That's right. That's what is coming. That's what is coming. He said, verse 19, he says, A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. You hear that? But shall destroy their houses with sword, family, with the sword, and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. Yahweh Shai said it in the book of Matthew. Joel said it. Daniel said it. What is it called? Jeremiah said it. And the Lord already told us that the word that goes out of his mouth will not return to him void. That is why we are continue, that's why we're going to continue to bring you this lesson. Whether you hear or forbear, it doesn't matter to us. But we're telling you, and eh? we're telling you what is coming. Take heed, repent, seek ye the Lord. You all you Negroes out there, eh? So-called black, African American, Native American, whatever you're calling yourself today, that's right. 
You are the Hebrew Israelite. And you are the one, the Lord. It says, listen, seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Because the time that we are coming in, family, we are all going to need the mercy of our power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. You see, we got to warn you. We got to blow the horn. We are not stopping. The Hague won't stop us. Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, said today, we know right now South Africa brought a case against who? Israel. A genocide case. That's right. They said what Israel is doing is what? It's, it's, it's a genocide. Everybody can see. The whole world can see it. But these people here, they are so proud. That even they said the, the Hague family, the International Criminal Court, they, the Prime Minister is saying now, is saying that the court is not going to stop them. What did the Lord say? It says for the same reason. Why, why? He hardened Pharaoh's heart. What did the Lord do? That's right. Before the Lord brought the plagues to what? To, uh, to Egypt. He sent Moses to ask Pharaoh. He says, Pharaoh, tell it says, Moses, tell Pharaoh. This is from the sovereign Lord. Tell Pharaoh to let my people go. What did the Lord say to uh, Moses? Moses says, Pharaoh is not going to say, so Pharaoh is not going to allow you to, uh, uh, is not going to allow the children of Israel to leave Egypt because I'm going to harden his heart. So anytime you go, he's going to say no to you so I can bring my plagues. The whole world can see what the Netanyahu is doing in what? In Palestine. Dropping bombs on pregnant women, children, fathers, uncles. It doesn't matter. Fam, that's what they are doing right now. Just indiscriminately, just killing anything that moves. Right? But guess what though? Now that he's before the Inter International Criminal Court and he's saying even that is not going to stop him. What is the Lord doing? The Lord is hardening his heart. Because what? The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. That's how scary it is. You're seeing it because it makes no sense. The whole world is saying what you're doing is wrong. But he says, no, I'm going to continue to do it. Because you know why? Because this is the Lord's movie. The Lord is about to judge these people. This small heart. Esau, Edom. They are Edomite family. The Lord is about to judge. This is their kingdom. They are ruling. They control everything. International Monetary Fund, Hollywood, the media. They own it all. And they're still crying. They still say they are the victim. Let that make sense. But here, 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 family. Let's go to the book of Proverbs. Just to show you how scary it is. When the Lord hardens somebody's heart. You know? When, because at the end of the day, this is his movie, right? You see, what, what is oh, oh, Proverbs. Proverbs 21. Listen to this. Proverbs 21, verse 1. It says, the king's heart. That word, the heart is love. In the Hebrew word, meaning your mind. You see, it's, it says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. So Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai control their mind. Like it says in the book of Job 33, 14, I believe. Or maybe, is it 33, 14 or 33, 5? I can't, I can't remember, but maybe we'll get it. It says the king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he turneth it whithersoever he will. So it's the Lord that is controlling their mind. Like he says in the book of Job, let's go, let's go. I think Job 33, 14. Um, the, he seals their instruction. I think it's 14. Let's try te, uh, Job 33, 14. That's right. The water Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. It says, for the most high speaketh once. Yea, twice, yet men perceive it not. You don't understand it. But here, this is how, listen, but verse 15 says, yeah, in a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men and slobbering upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men and sealeth their instruction, that he may withdraw men from his purpose and hide pride from men. That's what the Lord is doing. That's how scary it is, family. We have no control over anything. The Lord control everything. The Lord seal your instruction, and then you go, you family, you go ahead with you. Whatever the Lord is asking you to, you're going to do it. 
Who is it? That, that's what I think it's what Apostle Paul that said, who can resist his will? The same way he hardened Pharaoh's heart and then brought judgment upon Pharaoh, the same way he's doing right now. This man here is going to draw everybody into the war. He says in the book of uh, uh, Jeremiah 49, 20, he said the least of the flock, let me, let me go there quickly, shall draw them in, right? And then we're going to read this article. Uh, what is it? Uh, I think I said Jeremiah, right? Jeremiah 49, 10. You see? The fact that the whole world can see what this man is doing and he still says, no, 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 no. I don't care. I don't care. I'm still going to continue killing these children. And that house, family, don't play with the Lord because the Lord is, Yahweh Shai is eventually, is going to step in. This is going to lead to what? The third world war. It says here, Jeremiah, Jeremiah, is it 49, 20? Let's see, 49, 20, right? Yes. It said, Therefore hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he have taken against Edom. They are the Edomites. That's right. Esau, Edom. They are the head tribe. They the Amalek. That's right. The grandson of Esau. They are the one occupying the land right now. The big nose, the small heart, that's right. J-U-W's, they, 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 they are the one taking over the land right now. But it's Jehovah Shai that's coming to clean them off the land. He said, therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord that he have taken against Edom. And his purpose is, and, and his purposes. This is the Lord doing. This is the Lord doing, okay? That he have purpose against the inhabitants of Teman. Surely, the least of the flock, that's Israel, eh, shall draw them out. They're going to draw all these nations to war. Surely, he shall make their habitation desolate with them, especially America. Family, fear the Lord. Fear the Lord. What the Lord is doing, man, it is scary. It says, the Hague won't stop as Netanyahu, the Israeli prime minister, has lumped. The International Court of Justice in with his country's enemies in recent comments, including Iran. Listen to this. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed at a press conference on Saturday not to let the genocide case being taken against his country at the International Court of Justice, ICJ, stand in the way of continuing his country's war against Hamas in Gaza. It says here, no one will stop us, not the Hague, not the acts of evil, and no one else. It is possible and necessary to continue until victory, and we will do it, he said. Family, that's the spirit of the Lord. That is the Lord. Because this is leading to a third world war, and Yahweh Shai is going to show up in the midst of that third world war. This is the last war. The father, this man said he's not going to stop until he kill everybody of that land. That's right. So guess what? The rest of the nation eventually have to step in. Iran is going to get involved. They're going to go after Iran. Russia is going to protect Iran. Because family, we believe what is written in the Bible. Ezekiel 38. We believe what is, what is written in the Bible. It's not what a man thinks. The same man, whatever they think, family, is the, is the Lord that put it in their mouth. But whatever the Lord says, that is what we believe. That's right. So the Lord said, Russia is going to protect Iran. Yes, you can bet your house on it. Russia is going to protect Iran. And the Lord said, it is going to be Russia that is going to take down America. Babylon the Great. That is what is coming. So yes, he said he's not stopping. So, and that's what we want, family. We want him to continue to hold on to the same energy, that energy, that's right. Don't give it up, that same spirit. We want him to continue going with that same spirit. Because, family, we want this third world war. We want to go home. We want to go home. Hmm? And we say, Tawada Yahawa Ba'ashem Yahushai. So, as we speak now, right now, Germany... To join European Union mission against the Houthis, media says. That's right. 
This is going to be a war between the global south and what? And the European Union and America, NATO, that's why. Right. It's going to be east against west. That's it. That's how the Lord set it up. That's how the Lord set it up. You see, and that's what is about to happen. This is third world war, beloved. The world is not going back to 2020, 2018. Everybody's going to, no, 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 family, this is it. This is it. The end of the world as we know it. A, a frigate equipped with anti-aircraft missile and attack helicopters is to set sail for the Red Sea on February 1st. Die World has reported. We say, Barakata Yahawa Ba'ashem Yahushai. The Lord said the least of the flock right there is going to draw everybody in. And it's going to draw everybody in. And again, our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Oh, Father, we want to say thank you. The power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We are about to be released from prison, family. The hopeful elect. We are about to go home. Salvation is at the door. Barakata Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh, Shai. Berlin is planning to send it's F-124 Hessen frigate to the Gulf of Aden early next month. The German newspaper Die Welt Weekend Edition has reported citing sources. The, the Saxon class vessel is equipped with a reconnaissance, sorry, reconnaissance, man, I can never pronounce that word, reconnaissance, sorry, reconnaissance radar capable of simultaneously detecting up to a thousand targets air defense missiles and attack helicopters it also carries anti-ship harpoon missiles and torpedoes it's called third world war the lord says gonna gather all the nation to a uh, the valley of what uh, jehoshaphat let's go to jeremiah no it's not it's not jeremiah uh, yeah, Jeremiah also said the same thing, but let's go to, uh, let's go to, let me see here, Jeremiah 50, mm. let's, is it 49 too, I think 49 says, uh, let's, let's, let's do, yeah please bear with me this is the first time I'm looking for um That's not it. That's not what I'm looking for. Let's go to Joel. yesterday please bear with me my goodness man to all three yes oh, yes 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 it says assemble yourself and come all ye heathen gather yourself together round about thither Cause the mighty ones to come down. The angels are also coming, family. Oh, Yahweh, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. You see, that's the Levant. Esau called it the Middle East. We know that that place is known. It is called West Asia. And it says here, let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. It's a put ye in the circle, for the harvest is ripe. 
Farming, the harvest is what? The end. That's right. When you plant something, the time comes eh, to harvest the fruit. That, that means what? That's right. It's a harvest season. It's the end of the world, family, as we know it. Mm. So before your heart was shy, family, get us out of this place, family. These nations have to be church. And that's what is coming. It says here, put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down, for the press is full, for the fast overflow, for their wickedness is great. These nations have never been judged yet. We are the only nation that have been judged, family. That's right. This is our last captivity. Hmm? The last one was what? The slave ships, right? This is it. We've been different, different, many, many, many captivities. This is it, family. Now the Lord is about to pour his judgment upon these nations. Hey? It says, multitude upon multitude in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near. In the valley of decision, the sun and the moon shall be darkened. A day of gloominess, remember? And the stars shall withdraw their shining. That's what is coming, honey. Yeah, how was I told us that this time never happened before? Daniel said, repeat the same thing. Joel repeat the same thing. Jeremiah said the same thing. Family. He says, the Lord also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord, Yahweh, will be the hope of his people. Remember? Jeremiah 30 verse 7. Although is this Jacob's trouble, Jacob shall be what? Be saved out of it. And the strength of the children of what? Israel. Family, the hopefully elect, we're going to sit back and enjoy this show. We pray that we are among the numbers. So as you can see, family, things are escalating and it's not stopping. And we say Tawada, meaning thank you, Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Tawada, Tawada, Tawada. He's bringing all this nation. Germany is going to join in. Canada, everybody is going to join in because what? This is Third World War. Hear what the Belarusian president said today. Is it today or yesterday? He said something, something caught my eyes, my eye when I was reading this thing here. Belarusian leader, this is from the end time headline. It says here, Belarusian leader warns humanity is on the threshold of grandiose events 2024 to be turbulent. Yes, our beloved Apostle Tahar declared 2024 to be what? The hopeful year of Jacob's trouble. Because we know that our power, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, is dealing with our, our leaders from the great millstone. It says, this year will be dramatic and turbulent as the world is on the threshold of grandiose events. Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko said at a reception on the occasion of the Orthodox New Year. Listen to this. I would like to warn you, the world is on the eve of grandiose events. He said that event, not just event, event. That is what, plural. He said, we are in a precarious situation today. It is like walking on a thin ice. One careless move and we can sink and cause the state to capsize. In all likelihood, this year will be very dramatic. We say all praises, honor, glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh, Shai. Family, that's what we want. That's what we want. That's what we want. It said the Belarusian leader pointed to the continual persistent attempt by the U.S., to rule the world the way it was after the collapse of the Soviet Union. Ukraine, the Middle East, the border between the Indian and Atlantic Oceans, the Houthis, there have been demonstration bombing just for the sake of the upcoming election in the US and the wish to show everybody how cool I am. Lukashenko said, the whole planet may go up in flame. This cannot be allowed. You hear that? Russia, the global south are not going to sit back and watch America 
and continue to think that they are the sole power in the world. And this is how the Lord set it up. Barakata Yahweh Baha Hashem Yahushai. So he's going to cause them to what? Uh, to step in. And that's going to lead to what? Uh, family, the end of their kingdom and the beginning of Jacob under our King Yahweh Shai. These are the articles, family, this news. This is how, this is how the Lord speak to us. That's right. You see, the Lord has spoken, eh? And we are prophesying. Family, we as family, this is, he's showing it to us. This, these are the things that make, family, bring joy to our heart because we know that salvation draweth nigh. He said, when these things start to happen, look up, Yahweh Shai is coming. And family, this deliverance, when you see those ship, especially the way Ezra described the ship, family, that's all I think about. The way Ezra described that ship, family, we want a seat on that ship. I pray for all the elect. Eh? I pray for your household. Eh? Continue to do the best that you can. Because this is a family reunion that I don't think anybody in their right mind want to miss this reunion to see the king of kings the lord of lords in uh, uh, in his father's ship coming to deliver us oh it's a song called what swing low sweet chariot coming to take me home roughly paraphrasing family i'm not a singer please forgive me but man this is the you supposed to, we have to be extremely happy the time that we are living in Esau is going to lose. Remember, victory is already written for us. And we got to be strong. We got to hold on to what we have, beloved. Yahweh Shai is coming. Don't, 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 don't. The unbelievers, let them be. Those that don't believe the king is coming, it is okay. That is their lot. But you can see it because it was given to you. The gift of faith pursuing to the book of Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8. It was given to you to believe this glorious gospel. This is what gives us peace. The whole world is in chaos. The whole world is in gross darkness. But you have the light. You can see clearly that this place is coming to an end. And you know that your king is coming. You have zero doubt that your king is coming. You Zero doubt, family. You are 100% sure. You can sell, you can sell your kids, your wife, whatever. You know that your Hawasha is coming. You can bet on it. Now, that is something that we are grateful for. Because that gift to believe this message was only given to the elect. Family, we have to live a life, a life of thanksgiving every day, man. And yeah, Senator Lindsey Graham from the U.S., he's still talking. Promise to bring Iran's worst nightmare. This is how we want them to continue threatening Iran. Go for it because we know Russia is going to step in. And we want to see it, family. He says, he says here, Lindsey Graham promised to bring Iran's worst nightmare to life, unleashing his inner global terrorist tendencies. I'm not even going to bore you with the article, family. But we love those headline news because it's all leading to escalation. And Yemen attacked again. Yeah, things are heating up. The Lord is turning, turning up the temperature. And we are extremely blessed. And we are extremely blessed. But family, I'm going to pick it up from Jeremiah 30. And we're going to read a bit here and we're going to end it. So yeah, things are happening. German is going to step in. Germany is going to step in. And uh, yeah, the West, eventually, everybody is going to be in the Middle East. Because you heard, we heard it from Netanyahu. The Israeli Prime Minister, he says, they are not stopping. Nobody's going to stop them. Eh? So, this is beautiful. It says here, let's read a bit here. It says, Jeremiah 30 verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. For it shall come to pass in that day, says the Lord Yahweh of hosts. That I will break his yoke from off thy neck. Eh? No more birth certificate. No more insurance. No more driver's licenses. Eh? No more rent. No more mortgage. Family, these are all part of it. You see? You're not going to be answered. No more going to work. You see? This is what the Yahweh Shai is bringing. 
No more answering to these demons. You know, all these nations are going to be below you. Family, you're going to be above them. You're going to be the head and never the tail. Let's read that again. Jeremiah 38. For it shall come to pass in that day, eh, when Yahweh shall deliver us, says the Lord Yahweh of hosts, that I will break his yoke from off thy neck. The water Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai. And will burst their bonds, and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him. You're never going to be out there washing somebody's plate, working the restaurant. Yes, you know what I mean? You see, serving these nations, no. Your slavery is done. That is why when we see these wars pop in our family, it brings joy to our heart. Let's continue. It says here, but they shall serve the Lord their power. We will serve Yahweh their power for our power. Family, that's what is coming. But they shall serve the Lord Yahweh their power and David their king, whom I will raise up unto them. You hear that? Yahweh Shai is coming with King David. That's right. It's going to be Yahweh Shai, the kingdom. Yahweh Shai, under Yahweh Shai is King David. You have the 12 apostles under King David and then the 144,000. That's right. Rulers ruling under Yahweh Shai, the tabernacle of David. Family, that is what is coming. Are you ready to see your king? Eh? That's what is coming. That's the good news. Eh? He said, therefore, fear thou not. The Lord said, don't be afraid. Who cares about Esau? He's about to go from the top to the bottom, from trillion dollars to zero dollars. That's what is coming for these nations. Look at all your billionaires all over the world. The trillionaires, all the ones that you don't even see. Eh? All of them are going into slavery. That's what is coming. You see, that's what is coming. He said, therefore, fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, says the Lord Yahweh. Neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return, and shall be in rest, and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. Are you listening to what the Lord is saying? Are you listening to Let's get another version of this. Jeremiah 30, verse 7. What did it say? Let's go to the NLT. It says here, So do not be afraid, Jacob, my servant. Do not be dismayed, Israel, says the Lord Yahweh. For I will bring you home again from distant lands. We are, well, we've been spread, our family, everywhere. And whether you are in Jamaica, and whether you are in Guyana, whether you are in Trinidad, um, Nigeria, America, Britain, Vietnam, Japan, China, family, it doesn't matter. For I will bring you home again from distant land, and your children will return from their exile. Israel will return to a life of peace and quiet, and no one will terrorize them. That is what is coming, family. That is what we are patiently looking forward to. He said, for I am with thee, says the Lord, Yahweh, to save thee, though I make a full end of all nations, whether I have scattered thee, yet will I not make a full end of thee. But I will correct thee in measure and will not leave thee altogether unpunished. For thus says the Lord, Yahweh, thy bruise is incurable, and thy wound is grievous. All these nations, they took advantage of us, family. We are full of all type of diseases. They poison our food, our air. Eh? From, from one job to the other, three, four, five jobs, just to make what? And just to make the rent. Eh? Family, the Lord is about to take all that away. Eh? There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicine. No, none of this nation... Our family cares about our plight. Eh? But hear what the Lord is saying. All thy lovers have forgotten thee. They seek thee not, for I have wounded thee with the wound of an enemy. The curses that the Lord brought upon us, family. Eh? The last to be hired, the first to be fired. Eh? You see, we are the face of all type of wickedness today. LGBT, that's our, our face is on it. Eh? 
gang banging, that's our face. The whole nation, everybody have a place to call their home. But when it comes to us, family, we don't have a place to call our own. You see? The so-called Indian, he can get up and say, oh, I'm going to India. The so-called uh, Chinese, oh, I'm going to China. But us, oh yeah, I'm going to Jamaica. Oh yeah, I'm going to Trinidad. Trinidad. I'm going to Barbados, St. Lucia. Oh, I'm going to Ghana. I'm going to Nigeria. I'm going to Gabon, Cameroon. You know? We don't have a place to call our own. But the Lord is about to change it for us. And that's the good news. The kingdom of heaven. The Lord said we're going to be at, at rest. Nobody's going to terrorize us again. We're going to be the head and never the tail. Eh? It says, why criest thou for thine affliction? Thy sorrow is incurable for the multitude of thy iniquity because thy sins were increased. I have done these things unto thee. You see, the Lord, he punished us. But the same Lord that punishes is about to put all the curses upon the nation. And here it comes. Therefore, all day that devoured thee shall be devoured. All these nations that took advantage of us, that's right. They are about to go to the bottom. They are about to go into captivity. Let's read on. It says, and all thine adversaries, listed in what? Psalm 83. All our enemies, all these nations, every one of them shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil. And all that prey upon thee will I give for a prey. Let's read the NLT. And it says here, But all who devour you will be devoured. And all your enemies will be sent into exile. They are all going into captivity. Slavery. All who plundered you will be plundered. And all who attack you will be attacked. Family. I hope you are edified. The king is coming. Prophecies are jumping off the pages. And we have to be forever grateful to our king, the redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai, because he says he's going to cut the time short for us. Family, the days are flying by. Today is January 13th. And these nations are ready to get it in, in the form of Third World War. Barakata Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Lukakudash. Beloved, I hope this message finds you in perfect peace. Our king is coming. And yes, you know what? Sometimes you wake up, you say, Man, I'm tired. I'm done with this. But family, hang on. Okay, hang on. Yahushai is coming to deliver us. This whole thing is just going to be like a bad dream once we wake up in the kingdom of heaven. All right? The Lord, the, our power, Yahweh, is about to spoil us rotten. Yahweh willing, we are among the numbers. All right? So I'll leave it there. All praises, honor, and glory to the power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our power, Yahweh, and our King, the Redeemer of Israel, Yahweh Shai. Amen.